did it. After 164 days at sea since leaving Les Sables d'Olonne and a real big storm in the southern seas last week, this evening of February 15, just around 10 p.m., Kirsten Round in fourth of the Golden Globe Race 2022, the legendary Cap Horn. What a joy, what a relief for all of us who have been following the South Africans since the 4th September start in Les Sables d'Olonne. Sorry for my English. <laughs> she was doing this race to win it. She told it us. She wanted it. We saw her living very determined in September. We saw her terribly disappointed arriving at night in Lanzarote in, on, in sixth position. Victory seemed far away to her and she still wanted it so badly. We saw her happy, arriving second in Cape Town, happy not because second, but because being at sea, being one with her boat, feeling free, free from everything, including the pressure of winning. She just wanted to enjoy her race, her boat, the communion with the ocean. She told it to us serenely. We saw her smiling, arriving at Christmas in Hobart, always in the same serene spirit of discovery of herself and her boat at sea. A real loner, an incredibly strong woman, and a bit in her detachment, a Bernard Moitessier half a century apart. She does not seek the media, she flies them. Her obligatory tweets are theirs, mine haha, okay. She does not seek the light, she flies it. And the more she flies from it, the more light comes to her. Tonight she's first, at the head of his ruthless GGR 2022, which has already kicked out 12 skippers, first at Cap Horn. Calm, quiet strength, some would say, a sacré force. Bravo, Kirsten, thank you. Keep going and see you soon in Les Sables d'Olonne. You make us dreaming. It's more fun when I see one. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a lively spot at any rate. Getting the weather forecast from Cape Town Radio. That's uh, the best weather I've been able to get information up until now. Which may be accompanied by individual waves 1.5 to 2 times higher. These estimates of winds and waves do not take into account the enhancing effects of the Agalus current off the South African east coast. Uh, so we've got some real southern ocean conditions here. Uh, fog, light rain, um, nice big rolling swell. Anyway, it's all part of the challenge. Um, after a bit of a frustrating night of uh, the wind shift with a lull in between and, and, and relatively uh, confused sea, um, we're moving along nicely again now. So yeah, we're really close to land. I think if um, if I hadn't been so close to land, I might have just filled all the sail away and just bobbed around waiting for the wind to come back. But now I can see land and I want to get there. It's one of those uh, situations so close and yet still so far. It's probably about 30 miles still to go. And um, we're probably not doing much more than about three knots. Fortunately, the swell's pushing us along, but...